Hey, this is Janet Jackson with another tip for those of you who have sat in your office and thought there has got to be a better way. This is an oldie but a goodie, a tip I use every single day. It's so common that I'll bet a lot of you watching right now already use it. So let me save you a few minutes. If you already know what control B, control I, and control U do in Microsoft Word, you can stop watching right now. Go find another video that will help you find a better way. Uh, but for those of you still listening, I'm glad you're here. I was just working with another user who, did, who didn't know these keyboard shortcuts, so I decided to put it out there for everyone. If you are working in, Microsoft, in a Microsoft Word document and want to bold some text, you can select the text using either your mouse or your keyboard. I'm going to select the word bold here just by choosing that word. And then I can use the keyboard shortcut Control B to apply bold formatting. It's the same thing as going up to your ribbon and clicking on B. Um, nothing special, nothing fancy. It's just a keyboard shortcut for those of you who are like me and prefer to keep my hands on the keyboard rather than grabbing for the mouse. And if you're a laptop user or have a keyboard with a built-in touchpad, it's super easy to, to kind of just use the mouse maybe to select the text and then use your keyboard shortcuts to apply the formatting. Of course, there are keyboard shortcuts for selecting text as well. So let me show that to you um, real quick. If I use my cursor and just navigate down here, if I am at the end of the word italics and I hold down the shift key, shift and use my arrow, I've now selected that word and I can do the same thing. I'm going to use control I to apply italics format to that text. And you can see what that looks like. All right, and then our last one is applying the underline tool. And this is just applying a simple underline. So I'm going to select this word again using whatever format you prefer. And I'm going to do Control U. And now I have applied the underline format to that text. If we want to be super crazy and apply all the formats to this entire sentence, I'm going to select this sentence. And in this case, I'm just going to run through those. Control bold or control B for bold, control I for italics, control U for underlining. So I'm doing the same thing as I would be if I was clicking up here. But again, if you just like the the knowing keyboard shortcuts or, or not moving your hands so much during the workday, this is a tip for you. And we can reverse those formats uh, doing the exact same thing with your text selected. In this case, instead of applying the underline, I want to remove the underline. I can do control U and it turns it off. So it works like a like an on off switch. I'm going to select this and we'll turn all of those off. We'll start with underline, italics, and bold. You can apply one, two, or three of those formats to any text, and you can certainly use your home ribbon by clicking, or now you know the keyboard shortcut if that is helpful for you. So I hope that helps. If, if it did, if this is new to you, would you please leave a comment? Uh, and, and let me know or like this video. And of course, as always, I'd love for you to subscribe to this channel so you can get other AHA tips uh, when they are published. And if you would like to get them delivered directly to your inbox, please go ahead and sign up for our newsletter where I share these kinds of AHA tips and other challenging thoughts on organization, productivity, and Microsoft in the workplace. Again, thanks for watching, and I hope that helps.